So previously in the section before this, 10.2, we looked at what is ideal gas, how do you find the internal energy of ideal gas, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. There is no yes. potential energy already, right? Okay. So in today's video, we are going to look at what we call the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, Miss Lee, consider a system of ideal gas hall huh? mm -hmm. where the internal energy is increased. But how yes. do you increase internal energy? Well, based on the equation that we had just now, if we increase the internal energy, it means that we increase the temperature. Okay, so maybe that's one clue. But let's pause here. Say temperature is possible, one clue. There's another way. But let's look at the simulation to figure that out. So here we are again, mm. back at our good old box of particles. <laughs> so you think of internal energy or you want to increase that. We think of temperature one way. Okay. So how will we increase the temperature, Amis? I click the bucket. Okay, okay. So why try? You try no? You add some flame inside there. Then you see, ah, yeah, we saw see before. Okay, we try again. Add the heat. So if you notice kinetic energy of the particles, or if you notice how fast they are moving, each of them, I just look lah. You see, they are moving faster and faster. So that's like an increase in kinetic energy of the particles. Yeah. Mm. We can see that there's a lot more movement, so more internal energy of the gases. Is there another option, uh, Miss Ellie? Hmm. Another way to make particles move faster. Hmm. Let's look at another simulation, maybe. You think about that or play with this one? Okay, I'm just going to chill, let the gas chill a bit first. And so that it's not moving too fast. But so if we want <laughs> if we want the particles to move faster, I guess another method is to change the volume of the container. Do you think we should give them more space to move or less space to move? Let's see. Lo. Let's say I increase the volume or the gas expense. You can see now that the gas is traveling kind of slower, right? Mm. Okay, so remember this move, movement, and then now I'm going to compress the gas. All the way. All the way, and you can see that now we have much more energetic gases. So there are two methods to increase the internal energy. Okay, so uh, just now when we look at the simulation, we wanted to increase the internal energy. So as you mentioned just now, the most straightforward way is to add heat to the system. Okay, so we'll put a part plus Q, okay, so that the Ke increases. But I want you to understand that just because you add heat to the system doesn't mean that the temperature of the system increases. Huh? There are special, special cases that we will look into later, but we can also end or compress the gas. Basically, giving the gas less space to move, so more collision with each other, so there's a higher chance for you to have a larger speed. So this one will be plus W. But this is less volume. Okay, so less volume here means work done. You compress on the gas, mm. right? So the whole idea here of internal energy is we want kinetic energy to increase, and kinetic energy is the one that is related to heat. So kinetic energy is the one that's related to temperature, not heat. Okay. So I think we can think a little bit about conservation of energy here. To increase the internal energy, I have two options. I can choose either one or both. So I'll write the increase or the change in internal energy will be equal to Q plus W. This conservation of energy is first law of thermodynamics. And we will use this a lot in the following examples from this subtopic. Miss, got second law of thermodynamics got God, got many, many law, but we don't, law. We, we don't care. Got zero law also. Okay, miss, I have a question. Okay. So how do we visualize this UQW? Uh? Is there a uh, way? Hmm. We draw a gas sample hmm. and then we think to ourselves, hmm, I want the particle to move faster. Okay, so, so maybe we imagine this piston thing. Lah, huh? Got particle, uh, fly draw, here, fly there. Draw arrow to represent the speed law. Because this is not a simulation. We don't I don't teach in hot words. I cannot put simulation in your notes. Then so if you compress the gas, then the particle will move faster. 
，哇哇，叮当咚，叮当叮当咚。Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I think I will write there that V decreases, and because of this, uh, your W is positive. So you're doing work from... on the system. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's either you using your hand to press down, or maybe uh atmosphere, or changes in the surrounding. Does work on the gas. Okay. The chemistry or... way of adding it is to draw two arrows underneath the gas, lah. Heat, lah. Okay, lah. I guess you could draw fire dun, dun, again. Dun, 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 dun. Never mind. We see a lot of fire already. Plus Q. Or plus Q. Or both. Can do both, ah. Uh, number one or number two or both. Yeah, one or two or one plus two. Oh, interesting. So yeah, lor. I mentioned, lor. Got simulation. Let me show you a very quick one. So here is just basically showing you how you can see the values change. Now, okay. So you want mm. to increase this delta u. What you can do is number one, you add heat. Woo! So you see, got fire come out. Six point eight, mm. six point eight. Okay, lor. Internal energy increase now. But but miss miss. If w is zero, this means that the volume doesn't change, right? Mm. See the piston mm. didn't move. Still same volume, same box. So we can choose to just add heat to the system. Without allowing the gas to expand, so the container is sealed, lah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The other one, ah. What if we? Oh, can play this one, ah. Oh, you can play. So you see, it get redder and redder and redder when you add. Yeah, it. and then it stays oh. at a certain temperature. Okay. Okay. What if we do work on the system? So you see the hand press down on the gas. Mm. Hmm. So this will cause a increase in internal energy also without adding heat. Changing. Yeah. So like that, lor. You squash it. You see, it become redder and redder. Oh, become very hotter hot. Hotter. Later, we show you some video. Very cool one. You can use it for survival in the wild. Okay. Anyway, so exciting. Okay. <laughs> then you can do one more where you. Wow. What we can we do? We add heat and then we also compress. Oh, we can pull up. Go all the way. I think we go positive first, lah. Okay. 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 So we add heat and we also compress. So you see, mm. wow. Five plus two point four can increase. Mm. Internal energy. So you see, lor, you play. So you're adding heat, but you're also compressing. So, so the temperature when the, will because the temperature is increasing, your internal energy is increasing. Yeah. So okay. you can see from the number and the piston. What if we go on the negative scale? So we pull lah, make the gas bigger. Okay. So okay, let's say we zero. put Q at zero. Hmm. Wow. Miss can have negative value one lah. Internal energy. <gasps> you see the delta. The delta is for change, guys. So when the delta is negative, it means that the internal energy decreases, which which makes sense because you expect the particle to slow down. So you can see the temperature Become decreased to two seven seven point five. Then you can also and, do yeah. one where you remove. I guess they put ice cube to show that you remove heat, but also you expand. You force the gas to expand. You do work done. Yeah. By gas. So the temperature will drop very fast because Even now I need to <clears throat> throw out heat to the environment. I also need to expand. This is called very tired. So the temperature decrease. I need to do many things. Okay. okay. So of course the sign convention here is important. It really depends on. So Q is positive when you add heat. Q is negative when you remove heat. In this case, represented by the ice cubes, lah. All right. Can W work? is positive if the piston expands. So if we play, sorry, W is positive if the piston compresses. You press so down, you, you do work. This, uh, yes, you play this, you will see, oh, it's being pressed down. So W is positive when it's being pressed down. And then W is negative when it's being pulled up. Okay, good to know okay. the sign convention. What about the delta U? Hmm. Delta U ah uh, looks like when positive you increase the delta U ah. Uh. Hmm. So negative means positive. you decrease the delta U. Oh, yes. So the tell to know whether delta U is positive or negative, the clue that you can get from a question or a scenario is the temperature. When the delta U is positive, you see it's higher, three six one point two compared to three hundred, and if delta U is negative, it's lower, two four one compared to three hundred. So we will summarize all of this in a table now. So let's go and look at that table. This one ah uh, will save your life during exams, no lah. It will help you 
group the info in your head. Otherwise, you're like, how positive, negative, miss how I confusion. So make sure you write this down somewhere in your notes, in handout or otherwise. Okay. So, miss, what's the sign convention we observed just now? Uh, the internal energy increases if delta U is positive. And the physical or the macroscopic tell is that the temperature increases. So increased temperature leads to increased internal energy. Because, you know, internal energy is 3 over 2 NKT. So increased internal energy and your delta U is positive. Okay, so the converse will happen when you talk about the negative sign, we decrease the temperature. Mm -hmm. So temperature increase or decrease uh, does not really depend on whether heat is added or not. So this is the part that sometimes confuses people uh, because we are so used to thinking that if the temperature increase, then heat add law. Temperature decrease, then heat remove law. I don't know, I just want me to see the volume got changed or not it and depends. how the volume changed. Uh, so it depends. Okay, so in this case, the only thing that you can say when the temperature changes is the internal energy. Temperature increase, internal energy increase, positive delta U. Temperature decrease, internal energy decrease, negative delta U. Mm -hmm. Heat is very straightforward. You add heat to the system. Heat added, then plus Q. Q heat positive. No? <laughs> uh, Q positive, uh, you add heat okay. uh, positive. Uh, you remove heat negative law. Please don't write put ice cube. Uh. <laughs> if I see put ice cube in your answer, I will laugh. It will be very entertaining and I just give zero. So put ice cube. Say heat is removed. The ice cube is just a simulation for you to see. Like, you know, I guess oh. if you wrap, you tap out the whole thing in ice, you can remove heat. Uh, if the temperature is different, but please just say heat removed. Okay, here is the part that can be a bit of a jump because... This one all increase, uh, you, you can brain. But work done, in order to increase the kinetic energy, is volume decrease. Hi, uh, why like that? Because CIE chose this equation. So this is the sign convention. Okay, So gas is being compressed. This is work done on the gas. Mm, work done on gas. So it becomes so smaller? work on the gas, and the gas receives your energy with thanks, and its internal energy will increase. That's why delta U is Q plus W for the positive portion. Then for the negative portion, the negative portion, your volume will increase. The work done one, you have to pay a little bit more attention now because the sign is kind of reversed in some of your brains. So when volume is increased, it's work done by the gas. So when the gas do work, it will lose its internal energy. You do work, ma, then your internal energy decrease more. So next time when people ask you, how are you? My internal energy is very low. I do too much assignment. Mm. Microsoft Teams every day. Sadness. Uh, hashtag 2020. Okay. Okay. So that is the sign convention. Uh, if you're confused, always ask yourself, what is the signifier? Because this one all have external signifiers. Temperature for internal energy and volume for work done. So read the question.